Outlander star Sam Hewen is a man of many talents. During his break from the show, the star embarked on a journey that eventually defined his memoir. There was a point when the actor thought he was certainly going to quit. Today, we'll discuss that moment and the journey Hewen talks about in his memoir. Keep watching to know more about what he said. First things first, Sam Hewen almost quit the journey he embarked on. In his recently released memoir, The Outlander star Sam Hewen talked about a journey he embarked on during his break from the show. The side project he nearly quit was actually a hike he had wanted to do for some time. The Scottish star decided to hike along the West Highland Way in his home country, Scotland, because the trail had always interested him. The star explained that the trail actually begins very close to his home, which lies outside Glasgow. Hewen says he believes his country has a beautiful landscape, and it had always been on his mind to complete this particular hike because it leads to Ben Nevis. The reason why Ben Nevis interested him a lot was because it's the highest mountain in all of the UK. Conquer Conquering the difficult trail is a noteworthy achievement for the actor, but there was a moment on the project when Hewen thought he would quit. Hewen says he was so excited about the hike that he didn't really plan it and just gathered the gear he had and went with it. The actor says that by only the second day, things started to go south and he began to realize his heavy gear was to blame. Hewen admitted he had brought too much with him and at that moment, he almost gave up. Hewen only had a week where he was not needed back on set, so he had to make that break count. Next, the reason why Sam Hewen kept going and didn't give up. When Sam Hewen realized he was at his limit and might not be able to go on, something made him change his mind. At his moment of desperation, the actor met someone headed on the same trail as him. While he admits that originally he planned to go on a solitary walk where he spent quality time with himself and his thoughts, meeting people made all the difference. Meeting people on the trail got him recalibrating his energy and he decided not to give up. The star credits a fellow hiker Graham for changing his outlook on the journey. Hewen says after he met him, everything changed and the two quickly formed a friendship. Coming across a fellow hiker who shared the same destination as the the star seemed to become a lucky encounter for him because Hewen managed to complete his journey in the end. The walk helped Hewen reflect on his life and his personal journey in life. The experience was so formative that the star felt compelled to write about it in his book. His memoir features most of his journey in it and is a charming detail in his storytelling. Hewen mentions that the Scottish scenery played a big part in his experience and it gave him a chance to think about things in detail. Just being there in nature was a peaceful moment for him and it forced him to think of things like meeting his father for the first time. Now, the Outlander star shared details of his life in the memoir. The hike brought up memories and made him introspect for the time he was walking. He reflected on the time he met his father shortly before his death. The subject has been of much sensitivity for the actor and he doesn't really talk about it often. But thanks to his journey on the West Highland Way, something changed. Soon after the journey ended, it inspired him to write a memoir that took viewers through his walk on the West Highland Way and his life. One of the things the star mentioned in his book was his relationship with his father. Hewen's father had left him and his family when the actor was only 18 months old, so they didn't really have much of a relationship with one another. It wasn't until the actor became interested in his family ancestry that fate led him to his father. Once Hewen and his family uncovered their father's whereabouts, he and his brother flew out to Canada to meet him. As is the case with most stories in real life, life had other plans, and Hewen found out his father was suffering from leukemia, so their meeting essentially happened on his deathbed. Shortly Shortly after the star met his father, he passed away from the disease. However, the cathartic experience of finally meeting his parents ended up in his book and helped him come to terms with some things in his life. Coming up, Hewen used his experiences to hone his craft. It seems Hewen's hike was more than just a walk for fitness, but also one of many reflections that shaped his outlook on his life. Besides coming to terms with his father's death, Hewen mentioned that he used it to better understand his characters, such as the one he plays on Outlander. Hewen says as an actor, he just had to use the experience of meeting his dying father to understand himself better and use it in his acting. In the show Outlander, the actor also plays a character of Scottish origin and says the show sometimes reminds him of his father. While Hewen was working on Outlander, his father died from leukemia in 2014. Upon his death, the McDonald kilt that his father owned was passed down to him. In his book Clan Lands, the actor opened up about how the kilts on Outlander keep reminding him of his father's kilt that he's inherited. His family 
family from his paternal side descends from the McDonald's, and his kilt comes with their family leather sporin. The actor says he will honor his father one day by wearing it, but first, he'll need to shed some pounds because his father was much more slender than him. All in all, the experience of going on a solitary walk through the plains of his home country really helped the actor put things into perspective. If he hadn't completed this journey, we probably would have never gotten his memoir in print. Moving on, Sam Hewen revealed he struggled with his body image in his memoir. You may all know Sam Hewen as a flawlessly handsome Highland warrior from Outlander, but the actor didn't always feel as flawless or handsome. In his book Waypoints, the star recounted his struggles with an eating disorder that made him struggle with his body image. It might be hard to imagine considering Hewen's global success with the show Outlander, but there was a time when the actor wasn't doing so well in the industry. Hewen had spent years working the usual odd jobs one is forced to do and doing small roles here and there before he landed a role on Outlander. The actor candidly explained that his rise to fame was not as easy as people would like to believe. In fact, it sometimes cost him his health. Hewen remembers how he tried to catch the attention of casting directors by not eating and obsessing about ways he could maintain a leaner silhouette. Hewen says at the time he counted all his calories and thought about how every meal contributed to his chances of getting work or losing out on it. As you can imagine, it was a dark period in the actor's life, and he considers it a time when he suffered from an eating disorder, no matter how low it may have been. The actor admits that, sure, you need to look a certain way as an actor, but for him, that need drove him to unsavory ends, and he ended up with a bad relationship with food. Next, Hewen's early life was spent looking for ways to fit the look of an ideal actor. In the world of acting, looks are, at times, everything. In the case of Sam Hewen, that requirement would, at times, push him to routines that were often far from reality. He explains that he would ration what he consumed during his early years. He often resorted to only eating salads and pickles because he was aware of their few calories. That was quite detrimental for him because he says even though he was running at the time, his body didn't have enough energy to draw from because he never consumed anything of true value. Most actors spend long hours on set, but for Hewen, running on that sort of nutrition and spending a day on set was exhausting. Hewen mentions that in the industry he works in, actors rarely get a say in securing work. It's simply not in their hands, and they don't really have any security of employment. So to him, the only form of control he could exercise was to make himself so perfect that he would instantly be selected for any role he applied to. The actor explained eating was not the only thing he spent his time avoiding, but also had to make choices about his appearance to make him more worthy of a role. Hewen says things like outfits, accents, and hair colors were some of the things he needed to stay on top of. The actor tried to change and adapt according to each audition he applied for, but it rarely made him happy. Finally, Hewen raises awareness about body image by being honest about his own struggles. It's much more helpful to watch your idols overcome the struggles you may also have than to be given lip service by someone who knows nothing about the pain you feel. So Hewen's candidness helps people in many ways. The star has been brutally honest about his past struggle with his body image and, in doing so, is helping raise awareness about a very real problem. Hewen's journey to health, like most people, wasn't linear, and he had to experience the worst for him to choose better. He says his attitude towards food changed with time, and he began to take an interest in nutrition so that he could change his body from lean to muscle. During the first seasons of Outlander, the star had to maintain a fitter frame, but thanks to his commitment to healthy ways of looking good, he was able to do so. The actor says he wants to help other men improve their relationship with food and really be more involved in helping them achieve better mental health. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Sam Hewen's memoir? Let us know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.